welcome back to my art channel my name is Chris and in today's video I have a little haul now uh, I ordered from Etsy and I'm a little surprised that it actually arrived today so I have here the package so I'm going to unbox that today but I also went to a little art store in um, a town that is one hour away from here so I actually ended up going because my husband had a uh, work business to do over there and he didn't want to leave me, he didn't want to leave me by myself um, because I'm currently taking some medications and it doesn't make me feel really good so he was worried that while he was away I was going to start feeling uh, unwell so he decided to take me so I'm happy he did because I was able to find like a little art store while he was um, doing his work stuff and I spent like a really nice hour there shopping. It was a really cute little store. It was very well stocked. I was surprised at the amount of art supplies that they had. Um, like I said, it was really little, but it had a lot of really uh, professional great supplies. So I ended up doing a little bit of shopping there. So I'm going to show you what I got. Everything is in this bag. I didn't buy a lot and I'm really excited, like I said, about the FC package because I was not expecting that. And um, before I continue, please like and subscribe uh, my, to my channel. I would love it if you become part of this little community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube. And um, I know there is a strike going on with Etsy because a lot of the sellers are not happy with the way they are raising prices. And I totally understand that. I totally support them. But at the same time, there's a lot of sellers that, are, that Etsy is their only form of income. So I'm very torn in between because I understand that Etsy really needs to get it together and figure out something that is going to be beneficial for their sellers but at the same time I also want to support um, sellers that that's their only main um, their only main source of income so it's like I'm torn in between uh, so I just want to throw that out there if you are a small seller um, who's selling through Etsy and you're in the strike, I support you. Uh, at the same time, if you're a seller whose only main source of income is through Etsy, I also support you. Uh, so I'm going to switch angles and then I'm going to show you what I got. I'm also going to do some quick swatches because there's not that uh, much stuff that I got for today. Okay, so I'm back. So let me show you first the package from Etsy. I got three things. Oh. Okay. So let's start with this. This is washi tape. I love washi tape and um, I use it a lot when I'm trying to, uh, if I want to make some edges around my pieces, you know, those really nice, perfect uh, crisp edges. Uh, so I ended up ordering some washi tape from the seller. And then this palette. Now, I got this palette to put a lot of my watercolors in there. So let me show you really fast. So this is from another seller. Uh, you could actually read their name here. My idea is to put all my watercolors in some of this palette so they are all in one place. This is really small. Uh, I was able to get all my primary colors in here. So I needed a second one for my purples, greens, and pinks. So this one is like this. So as you can see, this is thinner than the first one. And it's longer. So I'll see, it probably will probably fit the same amount of um, pans that I have here, but I kinda like the design of this one better. Okay, so then we are going with this now this is the one I am most excited about okay so this is a stackable palette you can put it together like this and then it comes with the lid so we'll close like that now I am a little disappointed because I thought this was ceramic but it doesn't feel like ceramic it feels like a um, hard plastic um so hopefully it doesn't stain i did saw i saw another seller sell, selling something like this very similar but it was from china and i did not want to wait so long for the import um you know for everything to get here 
so when i saw this one i was really excited because she's actually from oh i don't want to say she but the seller is from california and the seller was able to ship everything really fast i think i ordered this on sunday monday uh the seller shipped it and then i got it today so i mean i like this this is what i was looking for but i hope it's ceramic i want to go back to the description description and look at it but i'm pretty sure it says ceramic but it does not feel like ceramic but hopefully it works so let me move on to the stuff that i got from the little art supply store okay so this is everything that i got again it's a really small haul nothing big so let me start first by um this is the faber castell needed eraser I only I got us this little one because I have a bag that I take with me when I'm going uh, to a coffee shop to paint and I realized I don't have an ear eraser so I got this tiny little one to put in my bag and then I was walking around and I saw this ink this is the bleed proof white by Dr. PH Martins and I got really interested interesting because then I think I'm going to make a video showing which will be the best white to use for highlights so i have this so far i have also the uniball Sig signal pen and the jelly roll i don't really like the je jelly roll that much i do like the sig um the signal better so i want to make a comparison to see which one will work best for the highlights so i have these two pens i have this one that i just bought and then I also saw this one, the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Brush, and it's in white. So this is supposed to be waterproof. So I want to make that comparison, see how is that is going to work. I also end up buying another of the Princeton, Princeton Snap Round Brush. This is size 2, very little brush. I really like this, the Snap line from Princeton. I never tried it before and I finally did and I really really enjoyed it. I do have dioxin and purple for golden from golden. Um, I noticed that in my work in my acrylic uh, painting in my acrylic paints I was missing a purple so I wanted to add that for uh, in my collection and then I ended up getting this gold from Wizard and Newton. This is wash. I'm going to swatch them um uh, in a bit and then i also got from daniel smith this pigment fish i don't even know i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce it but this is the pigment it is from their primatech line okay i got some more of the intense pencils i have this one in ink black I got a white one just to see how it's going to compare with that video that I'm trying uh, that I'm working on. See if this one will um, be a good highlight. Then I got Sienna Gold, and this one is Carmine Pink. And then my last item was this uh, Canceling Mixed Media Artboard. I saw this before in another art store, and I didn't buy it. And then when I saw it again. I thought it was a sign for me to get it. Um, I really like this because it's really thick. Like this is just one page. If you can see here. That is just one page. That is thick. And I feel like this would be perfect for my Posca pen drawings. Or even for like an acrylic. Uh, like a really light layer of acrylic or um, acrylic wash. I think this paper will um, handle that. So I'm excited to try it. Now let me find my sketchbook and we're going to do some quick swatches. Okay, so I'm back. So I did this black line with a Sharpie so we could test our uh, bleed proof white ink and the uh, Faber Castell pen, uh, pen brush and the uh, Derwin Intense in Antique White. So I'm going to let that dry first and then let me get that hair out. Oh. My cat loves to come to my studio and just break. 
stuff and mess with stuff. So this is the ink tents in Carmine Pink. This feels really soft. Uh, let me grab a brush. Okay, let's do this one. So I really like how this um, pencils react and activate really well with the water. It's a really nice color. So that's Carmine Pink. We're going to do Sienna Gold. Really nice color. Okay, and the last one is the black. Ink black. This one feels really smooth. Really pretty. Okay, now we are going to do the designer's wash in gold. How pretty. Okay. I know this is not how you want to swatch it, but <laughs> but we are doing it anyway. So I'm kind of going to work it on the paper. This is so pretty. I don't know if you can tell how pretty this is. I'm going to try to dilute it as much as I can. You could definitely see this in my work. It's a nice little wash of gold. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, then we are going to swatch this guy. This is the Primatech line. Oh, look, it's also coming out. Now, the Primatech, oops, that's a lot. The Primatech line is supposed to be made with actual minerals. And if you are a member or like an active member of the art community, then you know that last year uh, there was some controversy regarding Daniel Smith and the Primatech line. Because a scientist, um, she posted on her Instagram page, I believe, that some of the pigments were actually not uh, natural pigments, like they were at all mineral pigments that they were advertising it. So pretty much she just said that um, they were not being transparent with us, the customers, and we were actually overpaying for a product that was not even made with the actual minerals that they were advertising so it was a huge like I guess scandal in the art community and a lot of people uh, decided not to buy from Daniel Smith anymore because they didn't handle it so well um, they kind of brush it off and a lot of people did not did not like that um, so if you don't know you could go back and I believe it was like a year ago or something when this happened um, but personally to me, I don't think Daniel Smith is the best brand out there. I think what they have going on for them is that they do carry a lot of colors. And because they're in the U.S., they are very available to like a lot of artists. Like for me personally, I see them, they're very easy to find where they live. So that's why I have a lot of Daniel Smith smith in my collection uh just because they're accessible and i can find them on my local art supply stores but um they're not my favorite brand okay so that's that let me do the purple and i need 
a mixed media brush. Let me get one really fast. Let's try this. Just really nice purple. It will probably be more on the opaque or semi opaque, I want to say. Beautiful, beautiful purple. And I think I mentioned this before, but what I like about Golden is that they actually give you a swatch on the paint tube and you will tell right away whether the pigment is opaque or not and as you can tell this one I want to say it's semi opaque and the color is really pretty okay so now we're going to move to the pens so we're going to start first with the Faber Castell see how it works um, not bad, not as opaque as I thought it was going to be. For references, let me do the signal pen. Like, you see how opaque that is? Um, now let me go with the antique white. So again, this is not as opaque as I thought it was going to be. It almost looked like a gray. And then lastly, let's try this guy. Let me get another brush. Okay, so we are going to get this. Oh, it looks like a paste. Do we have to activate it? No, you don't. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this tiny little bit. Oh, that is white. Let me compare that one next to the Uniball. Let's see how that one does. bring it closer to you so you can see so this is the Faber Castell the pit brush this is the Derwent pencil this right here that is the PH Martins um, ink yes and then right here over here that is the uh, Uniball signal brush I mean pen so as you can see the pen is still pretty good looking of course, it's, it's, there's a more white on the PH Martins, um, but the brush is not bad. I mean, this guy was $13. This one was like 3 or 4 And then, just as comparisons, let's see the, the jelly roll. I don't know, there's just something. It's still white. As you can see, but I feel like the Uniball Signal has more pigment in it. Okay. And that is it. This is all the swatches. Thank you for tuning in to my really small art haul. And please like and subscribe. I would love it if you become part of this little community that I'm trying to be here on YouTube. And I see you next time. Bye.